Okay, I don't usually do this sort of thing, uh, but basically, Legends of the Sea Devils has just finished airing, and oh my god, that trailer, that trailer for the centenary, ah, um, yeah, so basically, I- I've watched it once, you know, on-, on broadcast, and I haven't watched it again, but I'm going to do that right now, sort of as, I like a sort of live reaction type thing, because, you know, even though I have seen it once, and I've got all these images flashing through my head of all the things we saw, um, I, I just wanted to kind of record that reaction again and sort of preserve that first reaction because there's a lot to take in here so um yeah let's 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 get into it nothing is forever no regeneration no life so daleks first of all i was not expecting the daleks well uh, the daleks second of course we have that shot of of, of jody first um but yeah i <laughs> sort of i was watching this as it went out and you know i was like oh what daleks and that really was, like, the least surprising thing by the time it had ended. But yeah, the Daleks are in it. The Bronze Daleks are back. Uh, in fact, have they got plungers? I'm just looking at them now. I mean, it's a bit dark. It's too hard to tell. Maybe they've got the plungers back, which would be uh, an interesting change. But yeah, Daleks. The and then Cybermen. But not just Cybermen, but Ashad, the lone Cyberman, is somehow back. Um... Again, you know, that that's that's a surprise, but I mean, compared to the stuff that's to come, that is, you know, it's it's down here because there is stuff to come up here. I tell you. So, what was next? Let me remember. The against you. I'm their master. Ah, there he is, the master. There he is, uh, looking a bit different. He's had a fresh uh, shave, hasn't he? And a bit of a trim. Um, the setting they're in, oh, it's probably not, but like the window in the background reminds me of the. Like the Victorian or whatever it was, the room um, from Spyfall Part Two, where he likes to make his, his grand entrance with a top hat and stuff, or whatever it is, um, with a little shrinking device and, and all the inventors and everyone made Lovelace and everything. Um, but yeah, Master's looking fresh. He has it there in the background. The Doctor's there in the foreground, and of course, over all of these first few shots, we've got the reprise of that dialogue uh, from End of the Vanquishers of uh, Time saying to the Doctor, "Nothing lasts forever, or whatever it is." Very ominous. This is the day you die. This is the day you die. Oh. Oh. I'm so looking forward to seeing him again. I tell you, I, I really am. Um, but we'll get on to the... Because I think we see the Master again at least once later in the trailer. So we'll get on to that uh, as and when it happens. And there we go, Jodie. So where is she? Uh, I mean, because I'm only getting a proper chance to look at all of these shots now. Because obviously when they're on the telly, just flashing in front of you. You don't really register these things but yeah uh oranges in the background could that be like a gallifrey thing or a divisiony thing i don't know um that motif on the left of her in the background looks vaguely like the sort of division tree symbol but it's probably not um i love how she got sort of longer hair as well i just uh, you know it's coming to the end you know it's the end game of the 13th doctor's era i haven't heard from the doctor and custom music as well it is custom music yeah because we've got the 13th doctor's theme playing there in the background I thought it was, um, but again, you know, watching it on TV, you just you don't necessarily register these things. So, and uh, this this was it. This was the moment. Oh my god, this was the moment. Tegan Javanka, Tegan Javanka is back, uh, and it's not only her. As as we'll get to see, it's not only her. But this was really surprising to me. You know, I, I'd heard the rumours about the other character that we're about to see. Um, I thought nothing of them really. But, I mean, to see Tegan again, uh, um, that is... uh, That was never on my bingo card. Never on my bingo card. Um, Let me just rewind so we can hear what she has to say. I haven't heard from the Doctor for nearly four decades. I haven't heard from the Doctor for nearly four decades. Wow. Yeah, we're we're really going there. Uh, You know, school reunion type vibes again. This This is amazing. So she hasn't seen the Doctor. I mean, I don't know what Expanded Universe stuff has to say about this, but Tegan hasn't seen the Doctor in, in all that time. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether they sort of keep the thing that RTD suggested in the Sarah Jane Adventures lockdown thing of her and Nissa being a couple, uh, whether that's referenced or just, just not. Uh, because it's just interesting as well, because obviously she was like one of three companions that were there at the time, or at least in, in the first TARDIS team that she was in. Um, so... I mean, presumably Sarah Sutton and Matthew Waterhouse aren't in this as well, and Adric and Nissa, but who knows? Um, but yeah, she's there with a smartphone, a bit different to the team we saw back in the day. She's, she's a, you know, got with the times. Just oh, 
heart. And there she is. There is Sophie Aldred, Ace, Dorothy McShane. Um, oh, this is why it was worth recording this. Oh, my goodness. I mean, so they're having like a little FaceTime Zoom call conversation, right, aren't they? Um, so what is she saying? That's just... Ace, I haven't heard from the Doctor for nearly four decades. Just because it's only three decades for me. Just because it's only three decades for me. Okay, see, all that dialogue went straight over my head while this was on the TV. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just too excited to see Gant Fielding and uh, Sophie Aldred again. So here they are both together in what looks like the sort of unit office block headquarters thing that was seen at filming, where they were sort of sneaking people in the back door and stuff, uh, both wielding guns. So are they fighting the Daleks here? Or I don't know what, what they're fighting. We probably don't know, do we? Kate with the Cybermen again. So obviously we're expecting to see Kate. I mean, it's kind of obvious that she was going to be in it. Um, I, again, I hadn't clocked that the Cybermen were also in this shot, particularly when I was watching it for the first time. So that's interesting um, because obviously they've been seen on screen together already, once already in uh, Dark Horse, Death in Heaven. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing those, those Cybermen again. I, I do like that design. I mean, not my favourite of all time, but I do think it has a certain charm about it with sort of wider faces harking back to Earth Shock and stuff, so that's nice. Oh my god, uh, yes! So it's the orange spacesuit, isn't it? That that's that's the one. I'd forgotten this from when I first watched it. So yeah, Dan is there in uh, in the orange spacesuit. Very, very nice. Um Yeah, wow. With one glove on, one glove off. In some kind of spaceship or train or aeroplane, I don't know. Vinda, he's back. Um, he's putting a gun at someone. Who could it be? Is it the Grand Serpent? <laughs> Probably not, but who knows. Um, interesting stuff. I, I wasn't expecting to see him again, particularly either, but it makes sense and it's nice to have him here, I suppose. Um, yeah, in fact, that reminds me as well, because obviously Bradley Walsh was seen at filming, so presumably because he isn't in this trailer, presumably his appearance, like Graham's appearance, is just going to be a cameo sort of at the end or something, but who knows. Uh, but yeah, Vinda looks to be in its, you know, playing a bigger role in the story. Yaz with a gun. Interesting. Hold on, so what's that? Is that... Oh, that... <laughs> okay, we'll get on to that in a minute. Uh, was that... Because it's a Dalek, obviously, on the left. Is it like Tegan firing at the Dalek or something? Maybe. Or Ace. What is that Ace in the... Is it Ace in the jacket? That looks like Ace in her jacket with her rucksack in Nitro 9. Interesting stuff. The Master with beard and very long hair. So we've got the two extremes in this trailer, haven't we? We've got him, you know, freshly shaved and, you know, having a trim and stuff. And then, like, completely overgrown hair and, and uh, yeah, looking very sort of... Yeah, just just... Wild, so uh, who knows what that's about? Very interesting stuff. Welcome to the end of your existence. Welcome to the end of your existence. And of course, yes, yeah, so we actually got a shot there of regeneration energy, don't we? Um, which again, I hadn't quite noticed. And the doctor's sort of there in some sort of thing, I don't know, like prison or whatever. Um, and as she's saying there, Yaz. Welcome to the end of your existence. Yeah, she says Yaz. <sighs> wow. Um, I mean, that looks so, so jam-packed. I, I really wasn't expecting to see Classic Companions again. Uh, I mean, I, I welcome it with open arms, you know. Um, you, you do wonder how they're going to cram all of this in, but it is a feature-length special, I suppose. Um, I don't think we've got the the title yet or anything, have we? Um, just double-check, but I'm pretty sure that hasn't been unveiled Oh, hold on, we've got something. Let's have a look at this. The Master Daleks and Cybermen return for Centenary Special. Yes, they haven't given it a title yet. Um, or at least reveal that to us. And for the first time since the show returned in BBC, to BBC One in 2005, the Master Daleks and Cybermen will all feature in one single story. I guess that is the first time that's happened then, is it? Unless I'm missing something. Are they counting like cameos and stuff? Has there been an instance where that's happened in the past with the cameos? Like maybe, I don't know. Or a montage or something. Um, the trail which she had after the Easter special 
also revealed the surprise return of two of the Doctor's companions from earlier eras of the show. Yeah, Janet Fielding as Tegan Javanka, Sophie Aldred as Ace. Oh, and there's the Doctor as well in the spacesuit. Wow. Okay. This is this is an end game, isn't it? It's uh, looking properly, properly epic. Christian says, Jodie's final feature-length story contains a plethora of treats and surprises for audiences and fans, not least the return of two of the most beloved companions in the show's history. They'll be having the Doctor fight on three fronts against her deadliest enemies, the Master, Daleks, and Cybermen, in one huge story. The BBC Centenary will also be celebrating the past, present, and future of Doctor Who in a fittingly thrilling, epic, and emotional send-off for the 13th Doctor. And there's the Master in a like, new new attire, new outfit. And he has in the yellow jacket from the uh, behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah, I've seen it before. And we've got some quotes from uh, Janet Fielding and Sophie Aldred. Oh my god, a shot of them back together. Wow, they look so good. That is really, really exciting. Also confirmed are Vinder and Kate Stewart. Written by Chris Tribunal, directed by J. Magnus Stone. Uh, Feature-length special uh, later this year. Further details to be confirmed in due course. Well, crikey. Um, whew, yeah, I, 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 had to, I had to do this. I was going to record like a sort of, you know, reaction thing for Legend of the Sea Devils. And I might still do that, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I just really wanted to document this, this moment in history because that was such an amazing trailer. Um, such an exciting time. But yeah, please let me know in the comments, you know, what, what you thought of this trailer, what you think's going on, your thoughts and theories and hopes for the Centenary Special and uh, whether you're as excited as me to see all these wild characters back on our screens in one story. Um, but yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon for some more Doctor Who videos.